What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Freddie Monshay, back in with another video. And in today's video, and the other days, I don't know how long this vlog gonna take, but it's a productive weekend in a life. So, I'm gonna be cleaning. Uh, I'm gonna have a cheat shade in this vlog. I don't know. I'm just gonna bring y'all along for what I do on the weekend and when I'm doing something. Because usually I don't do nothing but lay in the bed. But I'm gonna be productive this weekend and do something. So, before I get all the way into this video, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video. Turn on your post notifications so you get notified every time I post. And y'all, I'll see y'all in the next clip. Alright, so I've been going from the house. Shopping. Grocery shopping. Catching these sales, you feel me? But I ain't doing nothing tonight for real, for real. Besides cleaning my shoes. Cleaning my shoe strings because it ain't nothing for real. And I gotta clean my shoe strings anyway. And my shoes because... I, mean, I haven't did that in a while, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that so they could be fresh and white or whatever color they may be. But yeah, I'll show y'all a little bit of that. And then after that, I'm gonna take my bath and I'm going to bed because I'm tired. Been tired all day. I got a shot today. So I'm finna let this shot do his work while I'm in the bed. But yeah, I'll see y'all. I'll show y'all me doing it a little bit and then I'll see y'all in a minute. Back and I'm better. I want you bad as ever. Don't let me just let up. I want to give you better. Baby, it's whatever. Somebody got to step up. Somebody's on next go. Be damned if I let them catch up. It's easy to see that you're fed up. I am on a whole nother level. Girl, he only fought you over because you let him. Girl, I guess he didn't know any better. I finished cleaning my shoe strings. I finished cleaning my shoes. So my shoe strings hanging up on my shower rack right in my bathroom. Um, I didn't really do too much today because I went grocery shopping and I got home a little late and I don't feel like doing nothing now. So I'm just gonna save all of it for tomorrow so I could just do it in one time and be done with it. Oh, hold on. But yeah, so tomorrow's agenda is I got to clean I mean, I gotta wash my sheets, I gotta vacuum my carpet, I gotta clean my dresser, I gotta clean my bathroom, I gotta, I don't know if I'm doing this tomorrow or Sunday, but I'm gonna refresh my braids because I still gotta leave these up like two more weeks because in like two more weeks, I'm gonna start a maintenance vlog, but y'all gonna see that whenever I start and finish it. Hey, told me about all your insecurities and what Dragged me like two hours to your family's house for what Saved me some time but I should stick around for what Always felt like sticking around some sand to be loved And like guns with the egg in you Getting under my skin Pretty little young thing I don't need to call her face Got me too excited Yeah You played me You played me, you played me No girl dirty, shameful, crazy I need to know how to know nigga Who God does the same thing I do for a living But it's way less wavy How you gonna even manage in the key straight faces And all the pictures that I've seen lately Lord knows you still look amazing That's besides the point I'm making You're way too opinionated And I have to force it, I have to fake it You have attention, I put a shape in You went and came in, we could have waited I wasn't rushing, different in ages You're old enough, but you're still a baby You share stories when you did amazing Things to be lonely, things to be patient That was before me, I'm a Shifted your focus, let's look at training Most of these things I want to say to me I want to be the mind when you change
sheets on my bed and I washed I made it two loads so the washing machine won't be doing all the extra stuff so my first load is in the dryer my second load is in the washer and I got a third load because I'm gonna wash my shower curtain and then I vacuum my room I cleaned off my dresser cleaned off my floor clean my mirrors then went to the bathroom, cleaned off the counter, wiped it down, but I ain't showed it. Um, cleaned their mirrors, cleaned out the tub, then showed it. And put some oil up in the oil burner thingy. And then, yeah. So, once I make my bed, I'm gonna show y'all the finished product of my room. But, 
I gotta wait till I put my sheets on. I gotta wait till they dry and then put them on. But yeah, so now what I'm finna do is finish retwisting my hair because this is why I got this thing on so y'all will see. I started last night and I still got like a half a head to go. So yeah, this is what I'm finna do. Listen to some music or watch some Netflix or something like that. And then when I get done with that, my cover should be my first set of covers should be done dry. Put them on my bed, put my second load in, dry them, and then put my shower curtain in and start washing it. And then, yeah, I done be in the dead, everything on my to-do list. So, yeah, we good. So, I'm finna record this on my iPad because the stuff, my phone, like, I don't know why I can't get my clips to airdrop to my iPad. So, yeah. Anyways, like I was saying. So, the first topic I'm gonna talk about, talk about is school and grades. I don't know what kind of schools y'all go to. Some... Some have nine weeks, some have six weeks, some have, I don't even know what y'all be doing. Like, it's it's weird. But anyways, we do different stuff. So, but anyways, so we have two semesters. I'm sure everybody does, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, we have two semesters. So, anyways, first semester was pretty much easy. But when they said second semester was going to get harder, I ain't gonna necessarily say it got hard. I, I don't know. All I know is I need to get my grades back up there because one thing I don't play about is my grades and what we not finna do is draw bookie. So, therefore, I'm gonna work, study, keep my good steady habits. We're gonna get these grades back up there. But anyways, because some teachers don't be wanting to teach and it's like what do you get paid for if you're not going to come teach you just don't give us the material and expect, the, expect us to know it so it'd be like huh and then they attitudes mm -mm, i don't even rock but yeah it's school anyway i stay to myself if i'm not with my best friends or with my soul I say to myself, I keep my mouth closed because I know me. But, yeah, that's so much for school and grades. This is how much I got done. I don't know if y'all can see, but I got it braided so it's not going to look like which, which it really ain't because I still feel like I got a long way to go. So, yeah, let me see. Oh, I'll be rubbing. Next topic, I guess, love of life, because that's what they say it is, and I don't know why they say it is, but that's what they say it is. So, I'm finna give it to y'all how I see it. Love is a strong word. I love you is a strong phrase. So if you're going to tell this to somebody, make sure you mean it. The world is crazy nowadays and people are crazy. So like, don't be playing with nobody's feelings because that's not the way to go. Especially in this day and time with all the crazy stuff that's going on in the world. I feel like you should not play with love and these people and their feelings because some people have big hearts. I know I have a big heart. So when it comes to my love, I don't even play. And I'm very big on loyalty too. So if you're up in a relationship or any of it, you gotta be loyal to your partner. Y'all gotta communicate. Y'all gotta do daily check-ins. If you ain't doing that, I don't know. But I feel like it should work with daily check-ins a whole bunch of communication if you don't know how to communicate it's not gonna work it's not gonna work and i know some people don't like opening up and saying stuff because they feel like it's not gonna change anything but you will never know till you try and it can't hurt you to try so yeah. um 
we still young, so I feel like we got time. So, in other words, what I'm saying, what did I do? In other words, what I'm saying is take your time. Because not everybody you meet is going to be that person. Not everybody. They could really play in your face and be dogging you out behind your back. Trust me. I know. No, I'm just playing. But no, I'm going to be so free. But yeah, like I said, don't play with nobody's feelings. If you want them, tell them. If you don't want them, let them know. Because playing with their feelings, then they find out. Ain't no telling what's going on in their person's life what they got going on in their head and how they might react to the when they find out because they're going to find out i know me i'm gonna find out anything i want to find out so yeah just don't play with nobody and that's how i feel about the love life topic so i hit y'all back with the next topic um next topic is hold on next topic is fake friends Girl, <laughs> don't get me started. Um, what do I have to say about this? It's gonna be some real friends, it's gonna be some fake friends, it's gonna be some people who talk in front of you, talk behind your back, behind you when you ain't paying attention, when you ain't nowhere around. But it's up to you to figure out who your real friends is. Because you may never know. I don't know. You just have to watch out for certain things. Don't tell your business to everybody. Because you're going to hear it. From folks. Like these people, these fake friends. You can tell your business to them. And you're going to hear from another person. You ain't told it to them. You're like, golly. Who told my business? Because like, you telling your business to all these different people. But you can't even keep up with who you're telling your being to. And then when they get out, you'll be like, who told it? You ain't going to be feeling some type of way. So why should you tell your business to? Why should you put your trust in? Why should you loyal to? Because ain't no telling behind closed doors when they with other friends, people you'll miss with. Ain't no telling what they going to do. Because this is just, just the world that we living in. Like, it's some real friends out there. And if it ain't no real friends, it's some real family. I ain't saying all family real, but if it ain't no real friends, it's some real family out here. Either way it go, you can find you somebody to talk to, whether it's an adult about your feelings, whether it's an adult, whether it's a peer, whether if it's in your notes, whether if it's to your parents, whether if it's to yourself out loud in a notebook, to a counselor, I don't care who it is. You ain't got to hold your feelings in. And you ain't got to tell it to people that you... Um, you ain't got to tell it to nobody. Because you don't know if they real or not. Like, how do I put it? Because I'm rambling. Like, I don't know. Get you friends that's going to defend you even on bad terms. If they not defending you on bad terms... What they gonna do on the good terms? So, I just feel like y'all gotta figure out y'all selves who real for y'all because not everybody is real. And it might hurt to let them go. Yes, it's gonna hurt. Then again, it might not because you might not kill. <laughs> I know me. I, I, I can't kill no more. I'm tired of caring. Caring. Some stuff you can't care about. Some stuff is irrelevant. Like, for real. Life too short to be carrying no nonsense but um yeah find y'all somebody to talk to and that's all i got to say about fake friends all right somebody also asked me i'm gonna say my big topic for last because yeah but somebody asked me why did i start youtube how did i know i wanted to start youtube questions in this story Okay, why did I start YouTube? So, ever since a little girl, I wanted to do that anyway. And 
I did do it. <laughs> Please don't go look at my old YouTube. I did do it. I was a hot mess, but I ain't do. I ain't do it like the real YouTubers be doing. I was just posting videos. I don't even know how I was doing it, y'all. But please don't go look at my old YouTube. Please don't. No, just man. Really, don't do that. But anyways, ever since a little youngie, I wanted to do it. I used to enjoy watching other people do it. And I was like, golly, this is going to be me one day. And I love to talk. I love pictures. I love videos. Um... I love documenting things. Did I say I love to talk? I love to talk. And it's just, I felt like, why not give it a try again? Because maybe I'll take it serious this time. I don't really know. Like, I was just, I just feel like it's something that I would be good at. Practice makes perfect, so I'ma keep on practicing. This right here will make my third video. So I will be a content creator, an entrepreneur, which is a black business owner. Um athlete. School student like I'm really doing things out here and I really did this because it's something honestly that makes me happy so I do it I like I like talking so I ain't even finna lie if you know me you know I like to talk to myself so which I'm not talking to myself I'm talking to y'all but before I publish the video I'm talking to myself in front of a camera so like yeah Yeah, so yeah, I st um they asked me like, cause they want to know if like they wanted to start it, and they was like they don't know if, if it would go good for them. You will never know until you try it. You can't knock something until you try it. So to that person, I'm not gonna mention their name. To that person, try, ask for tips, practice, and see where it takes you because i mean it would never ever 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 hurt to try um yeah i'll be back in a little while hold on what else what else what else oh business because i did say i'm a little i have my own little small black business i'm an entrepreneur um me i have always been into arts and crafts and i have always wanted to make my own money and stop asking my parents and stuff for money so when i first started making stuff it was like for me like what's the first thing i made i don't know i used to make a lot of things i made some bandana pants before with my name on it for my birthday and put some rhinestones on my back pocket I had blinged out some Air Forces. Um, what else did I do? Um, I had painted some shoes. Painted a uh, jean jacket. Painted another pair of pants. So when I first started, oh, I did me a mirror. When I first started, I was just painting my own clothes. You no, know, I just used to like paint stuff because I was bored and then it started coming out cute. So I was just like, okay. Oh, I'm used to, I make um birthday pins. I made one for my birthday. Let me show y'all them. This one is from 2021. And I just took my ace off, so that's why it's right there. This one is from 2022. My littles came off, don't mind it. But, yeah, I made these. I made one for me. I made two for me. I made one for my mama, and I made one for uh, a teammate for her birthday in uh, 2021. But now, for Christmas, I got my Cricut, and I got to order some more vinyl. I got my heat press now. So, my clientele finna 
my clientele and my business should be finna go up. So, like, I just feel like if it's something that y'all want to do, y'all should try it, honestly. Because, like, life too short to just not be doing stuff because you don't think it's going to take it all. So, I just feel like if you want to do something, give it a shot. But anyways, yeah, let me think on my next topic, and then I get back to y'all. Okay, last but not least, because I feel like it's taking all day, honestly and truly. Last but not least, the topic I should really, I feel like I should talk about, because I'm pretty sure a lot of people be having problems with, maybe not, maybe so, I don't know, but I feel like it's a topic I should talk about. Mental health. Yay! No, I'm just playing. But, uh, how do I start this topic off? If you're like me, you like to hold in your feelings and, and, and just let stuff be until it gets to the point where you finally want to talk and you'll probably for me i've been in my notes to my counselor to my best friends or to my cousin which is like another one of my best friends so like them my main three my main i don't know i think like six people i talk to um or I thug it out. I listen to music, get my mind off stuff. I do something to get my mind off stuff. That's the way I do it. But there's some people who let this stuff eat them up inside. And it gets to a point where they don't want to be here no more. And life is too short. And they don't meet their purpose in life because from the stuff going on in their life, I guess, and, and it's taking a toll on them. So, I feel like mental health is very important. Find you somebody you can talk to. If you can't talk to nobody, get you a journal. Get you a journal. Mandatory. If you don't want to go buy you a journal, spend the money on a journal. Use a notebook. Or use your notes on your phone. Or, like I said, find you a person to talk to. But don't just, if you're feeling some type of way, I feel like you should let it out. Because that junk can eat you up inside and it can cause anger. Yeah. It can call, cause many emotions that you don't know what they are. You don't know what they are. I don't want to eat. That you don't know what they are. So, like, I feel like you should really talk to somebody if you're feeling some type of way. Because I don't watch the news, but, like, the stuff that's happening nowadays, like, we'll talk about it in school or something like that. The stuff that's happening with these, for one, like, the uh, police's police brutality, um, people killing themselves, all the racial stuff, which has nothing, I ain't gonna say it has nothing, but, like, all this stuff can be hard to take in, and, like, oh, no, like, it can be really hard to take in, so, like, I just feel like y'all should find y'all something or someone to talk to, to write in, to take your mind off things. But if you get to a point where, like, you really feel like you can't take it no more, I feel like, get you some help. Because I'm pretty sure you haven't met your purpose yet. And if you have met your purpose, it's more you could do. So, yeah. So, this is all for this chit-chat. I'll get back to y'all when I get finished with my head because it's taking forever. But, yeah, I'll see y'all then. Alright, so my sheets are finally dry and I made up my bed. 
so this is what my well this is what my room looks like it looks so good so clean I love a clean room floors clean all right and I finished my hair and it looks good it looks fresh like I just got it did or whatever but yeah this video is long so if you made it this far I hope you enjoy it um and yeah I enjoy cleaning up my room because it makes me feel so much better when my room is clean I have a good place to just become in it made me feel so much better but anyways i hope y'all enjoyed this video make sure you guys like comment and subscribe turn on post notifications so you get notified every time i post share this video and i'll see y'all in my next video